Hi comrades, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about an inherent topic that is speaking skills. Friends, in these speaking skills, if we ain't cautious enough, then our language will be a laughing stock. We shan't give any loopholes to anyone in our verbal communication. Can you tell me when will we give loopholes while we speak? I'll highlight those loopholes one by one. First, mispronunciation. Whenever you pronounce the difficult words or names, chances are very high to mispronounce them and it will be worse if you have MTA. It stands for Mother Tongue Influence. Second loophole is Spoonerism. Means words or phrases in which letters or syllables get swapped. Example, instead of saying zip your lip, they might have told lip your zip. Third loophole gaps, verbal slips, Freudian slips, or parapraxis. Technically, it is called malapropism. What does it mean? When a writer or speaker uses an incorrect or inappropriate word that sounds similar to the correct word, it is called malapropism. When words are used incorrectly, the malapropism leads to a humorous statement. Usually it happens to the persons who are not good at grammar, especially in word family and homophones. Believe it or not guys, even in my office, some of my, some of my colleagues as well as higher authorities had done malapropisms. I would like to share an incident which was happened in my office. One day we were waiting for the meeting and for our higher authority who had to conduct meeting. Ten minutes later, he came to the meeting in order to give respect to his position as well as his age. We all stood up. He said, shit, shit. Instead of sit, he mispronounced the word sit as shit. Added to that, he said, come on, let's shit together and discuss. At the very outset, we all got shocked, but we didn't show it on the faces. As a matter of fact, he was a nice person, but he had MTA. Moreover, one of my colleagues used to say spectacle instead of skeptical. Likewise, we may commit some blunders if we don't know how to pronounce the particular word or if we try to speak faster. Moreover, I would like to give the malapropisms which I have observed personally from the others while I was conducting interviews for them. Instead of saying communicate, they've said communicate. And instead of saying newspaper, they said no paper. Instead of saying importance, they said importance. When I was conducting an interview, an applicant told once, or companies, instead of core companies, owing to tension. My senior authority replied, it ain't or company, so never darken my door again. Means, don't come back, he said strictly. Friends, it happens sometimes without our knowledge. Even if it is so, don't worry since even native speakers of English have done mistakes like this. Here it comes. Last week, Twitter said, Twitter said guidelines were being updated due to confusion. The company says any users who tweets content... <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. A million BT customers could see their balls, uh, bills fall. Leader of Scottish Labour, Labour, sorry, uh, Kezia Dugdale. Thanks very much for uh, being with us. A police department in California is taking an unusual approach to catch porn pirates red-handed. Porch pirates, yes. Oh, off. <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> Happy birthday to Brian, Sam. Bev, um, urine? Or, how do you pronounce that? Uriah. Uriah? I, I totally missed Uriah. that one. Uriah, Maggie, Joe, Doug, and Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to all of you. To say their final goodbyes to this fallen Louisville police officer, D.D. Mega Doo Doo, I'm sorry, Mangudu. There's still plenty of time to take part in our last Stuff a Butt a Bus event of the season. Look at the Fox Size Linda Schmidt is live at Gracie Mansion tonight where the family will be shitting. Sitting Shiva tomorrow, Linda. Friends, as like this, former U.S. President George Bush once said, 
we cannot let terrorists and rogue nations hold this nation hostile or hold our allies hostile instead of hostage he said hostile i hope you must have understood the term malapropism after listen this video even george bush former president us president has done this malapropism so kindly focus on your pronunciations and enhance your knowledge on english step by step lest you will be suffering from gelatophobia in future see you in the next video with new info guys toots